If you are new, welcome. If not, welcome back. Apple has recently released iOS 16 developer beta 2 and the size comes in at 1.83 gigabytes. The build number for this is 20A5303i. The modem firmware for this update is 2.06.01. So the first biggest thing on this update is the lock screen. So press and hold to customize, tap the customize button. And now we have this color filter, the normal black and white and a new duo tone. And also you can pinch to crop. So say if you want to get this just like that, you can now do that. And then over here you have color wash, which is pretty nifty. I like it. Zoom all the way out if I wanted to, or zoom all the way in. This is pretty cool. I like this. They also changed the wording on the perspective zoom here. So now it says perspective zoom instead of disable and enable. And then here it says depth effects. Now, if I switch the color, let's see if it changes the wording here. So style color, you can actually customize the color you would like. So here, let's do a green. Ooh, blue, purple. There's no color. These are the basic colors that they give you. Also, it looks like the alarm clock here is just a tad bigger, which is pretty cool. There's a new option when you add a new wallpaper. So here, once you tap done, you'll be brought to this screen here. It'll show you these two things here. Set as wallpaper pair or customize home screen. So if you set as wallpaper pair, it'll look like this. Now, if you customize home screen, I'll bring you to this. You can change the color, configure, and you have the legibility blur off or on. And here you can tap this to add a photo. And then here you have this. You can choose another photo if you want. And then here you have the different effects and also the perspective zoom or depth effects. You tap done. Let's see if this applies. So it looks like this has changed, which is pretty cool. It looks like the wallpaper has changed as well. So inside of settings, the wallpaper, you can customize your wallpaper here. Customize current wallpaper or add a new wallpaper. So instead of focus modes, focus status has changed the wording. Now there is the word on and you can tap on it and you can toggle the different focuses you have here. Something I noticed while using face ID is my face was too far away and I didn't know that this text was here. It looks new. I could be wrong though. Another thing I noticed is if you swipe up on the customization lock screens, you can delete them. Delete this lock screen. Any configuration made to this lock screen will be lost. So for the astronomy wallpaper, it would show a green dot where you are located. I have my location turned off, so it's not gonna show. Inside of Apple Wallet and Apple Cash, the send and request button have been updated. Now it is one single button instead of two buttons. So inside of backup, customers using iOS 16 can now back up their device over an LTE cellular connection, as well as a 5G or Wi-Fi connection. So there is now an option. When you take a screenshot, tap on it. You can crop and scale or tap the share button here. And then down here, you can add to new quick note. So here I'm just gonna type hello, save. So inside the notes app, it looks like it did not save the photo or the screenshot, it just saved the note. So there's some new features inside of messages. Allows developers to classify incoming SMS from unknown numbers into 12 new subcategories within transaction and promotion categories for improved organization. For Indian users, messages now supports event extraction from SMS. These event and appointment messages are presented as series suggestions and also are presented to users in messages thread and in calendar inbox. Also for selected US carriers, messages extends the report junk feature to enable users to report SMS, MMS, junk to carriers. The option is visible inside messages from unknown senders. And also messages now supports the ability for customers with a dual SIM iPhone to filter their messages based on their SIMs. So it says here, many additional Bluetooth and USB game controllers are supported by the game controller framework on macOS 13, iOS 16, and tvOS 16 and later. So inside of HealthKit, there is a new vision prescription feature, data type. It allows developers and users to store information received from eye care professionals. HealthKit workout APIs now support multi-sport workouts with activities of swimming, cycling, and running, and a new data type for running workouts, metrics like running power, ground, contact time, vertical oscillation, running speed, stride length, and a new data type is available to track AFib history. All right, so there's a glitch inside of Apple Music. It depends on the song, I guess, but I was listening to this song and then I was playing it and then the next song came on and it crashed. Let's try this. All right, let's try. Crashed. Music closed unexpectedly. Help resolve this problem by sharing feedback and diagnostic files with Apple. Also another bug I noticed is the music will actually play through the screen recorder. I'm not sure if this has been fixed yet, but it's a problem. Like usually you're not able to screen record the sound on Apple Music, but this went through. I noticed a glitch while I was editing this video. Hey Siri, send a text to iCloud. Hey, what's up? The text actually goes through twice. Now overall, this update is pretty good so far. 
The battery life is pretty decent as well. The last charge was 48% at 6.49 a.m. That's pretty much it for the iOS 16 beta 2 update. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section down below. Drop a like on the video. 